Hello everyone, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Learnology, a new session for the learning. Uh, going on my previous video, I have seen a lot of comment. Most of the people are looking for authentication in the waveforms. So by default, if you are using the Visual Studio or anything for creating any ASP not uh, web application, uh, you will notice that uh, by default the core applications and MVC application they have a very easy way to implement the Active Directory authentication. But uh, there is no direct option to integrate Azure Active Directory in your ASP waveform application. So today let's see that how we can create. Again, I would again say that if you follow the steps which I'm going to show you, it's not uh, difficult. It's again very easy step. Just uh, with the help of few clicks and uh, few uh, minor coding changes, you would be able to implement the Active Directory authentication. So I will create application. I will uh, show you the how to configure the application. What are those dependency which is required in the application, and then we will check the application for working or not. I'm not going to make any changes in your login page or anything or any any like GUI changes. I will do the by default GUI for, uh, given by the Microsoft uh, sorry, Visual Studio application. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the visual form application. See here, I'm going to create a new project and I will choose the SP not form. Currently, for the my purpose, I'm using C Sharp. So you can follow the same steps and uh, there is no difference, only the minor coding difference would be there in case of db.net uh, but currently I am following the CSR. So let's go ahead and create. Let's give a name to the application. Uh, we have more Then give any name. And I'm not making any changes from here on I'm choosing the one four dot not the four dot eight dot one. Okay, so go ahead and create the application. So it may take a few moment to define uh, to create the default application. So let's wait. Yep, here you go. Let's check the application. Is it working or not? Okay, go ahead. Okay, I will change from Firefox to IE in the next row. Anyway, let's go ahead and check. By default, we haven't made any changes, so it must be uh, for sure it will be working. Yep, it's working fine. Let's wait for UI to appear. So depending on the speed of your laptop or some time, uh, it takes some time. So currently it was the first time that's why you see that it takes some time because it compiled and created the DLLs and everything. So the way in very first run it takes some time. These are the by default pages which are already created by the application. I haven't made any changes. These are some login pages which are created. You, If you want to make your application change, you can go ahead and change. and these are some login pages so application is working fine let's uh, close it and leave this application the very first thing you need to make sure that your application is running on let me change the firefox okay I'll leave it the firefox only uh, currently you must have noticed let me read the time see here if you see this application running on localhost 3. Dot on the port it's not the secure but if you want to implement then you must have to make your application to work on the uh, HTTPS port or the HTTP because until unless you make the changes for the HTTP to HTTPS your application won't work let me close up everything so the first thing uh, just uh, take a note it's a very simple step do the right click on the do the right click on the website go to the property window not the property page property window and here you see the ssl enable is by default false so 
make it two and copy this URL. I'm copying this URL and uh, let me save somewhere. Notepad. So this URL I will use for the uh, resting application to the Azure AD. So let's save application everything and uh, rerun the application again. I'm not building because code is already built. Now I'm testing that application URL. This one, the HTTPS, and let's check application is working on HTTPS or not. Yes, it's working on HTTP port. So we are good. In the first step we have completed. Let's close this application again. Go ahead, and uh, now the next thing that we need to add the dependency which are required to add the HTTP authentication. So I have already copied some code. So these are the three dependency which we need to run. Let me cop copy all those here. So these are the NuGet package which are required. So let's install one by one. Select this one. I'm using some older version. That's why I've taken the pre. Go ahead and go to the tool. Go to the NuGet package manager console. Yes, and from here, copy this and take the instruction. So, NuGet will take some time to install all those uh, dependency in our application. If you notice here, uh, NuGet is installing the required dependencies to my application. It will make some changes in the DLL, it will make changes some country files as well. So, do not worry about that. Let the uh, system make the changes. Just wait for or uh, these two to complete. Okay, done. Ignore this error if you see that one. Let's go ahead and install the next one. By default, most of the time, if you are using the Visual Studio Advanced version, these dependencies are already installed. So this will happen in my case as well. Because it says that Microsoft Owen security is already installed. Let's check for the third one as well. Okay. Yeah, that is also installed. So we are done with the application side. We have uh, installed the required dependency. Now, uh, the only one minor code change required. You need to do not make any changes to any web.config anywhere. But if you want to see that, let's open web.config and see. It uh, has added a lot of dependency based on your cookies. And if you see here, been a lot of identity uh, DLL has been added. So ignore everything. Let leave everything as it is. Now go ahead to the app desk code, open this, start of the other desk. This is the by default class cre created by the application. I will come back later on on this one. I will show that how you can use this one to authenticate using uh, Twitter, Facebook and Google. If, if you want, then you can use your application, not only the Microsoft Azure AD, you can use the social authentication as well. I will give a, I will try to give a walkthrough on that how we can create, how we can register our application to the Facebook or Google or Twitter. So let's go ahead, comment this code as this now. Okay, so I'm commenting. Okay, we need to make the changes here. Okay, so let me go ahead and add some more dependencies here. Okay, so we, we have already have, so we need to add one more uh, that is called oven.security and we are done so we have installed the dll all the nougat package we have used the namespace the next step is to add piece of code which i will add the piece of code in description section of this video as well so let me copy here and show you so this is a piece of code which you need to install here it is okay so i'm going to paste it here make control ready so that if there is a misalignment it can be done now we just need to make the client id get the client id and this uh, authority id for that what you need to do you need to go to the 
okay uh, let me open an instance of page and i'm going to log into the portal.azure i'm using my live account see this step is required to register your application in the active directory okay so um, login okay so this is my azure portal id go back to the home and from here you need to select the intra id earlier it was called microsoft active directory now it is renamed as microsoft intra id so let's click here if you go down you will notice the here the microsoft azure id is now microsoft intra id so it's just a uh, name changes there is no changes on the application or anywhere okay these are some of the default code which is already available so let me go ahead and add the app registration let me do the application registration give any name so i would prefer to use the same name before maybe but it is not mandatory you can make give any name let me speak it there for ad leave this one who can use the application as it is but you can make the changes based on your application currently by this azure ad is a single tenant so i'm using this one okay now here go ahead and select the web because this is the web application and from here copy this https port okay. copy it and do the registration it may take a second to register the application successfully see here application is successfully registered now you need to go to the redirect urls these are some uh, very simple step you need to perform so i on here by default if you see that it is already saying that we are in the redirect url and here you need to add one more thing okay add gargal here you can type the same again access token let select both okay so we are done now we are now need to just save it now you have to note to uh, to data from this uh, URL. Okay, go to the application name. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so this is our web form ID. Now you need to copy this client ID and remove, uh, replace this ID with your with your client ID. Now we are left with this uh, authority. Authority is nothing, it's just a tenant ID. Okay, let's go here and if you see the directly tenant ID, you can copy from here itself or you can go back to the home key directory and from here as well. If you see these both are the same. Okay, so I'm going to run in this question and just change this last part. Get control V. Save everything and run. And we are almost done. Let's give it a try. Now you will see that application will open on the HTTP port, not the HTTPS. So once application is built successfully and uh, is it running? You need to change the HTTP to HTTPS. For that, I'm copying this URL, and now if you see it is running HTTP, changes to HTTPS. And check everything. So this is the application currently working, and you must have noted that we have added. So let's see that how we are going to uh, connect with the that. So for that, go to the login page. 
and now here if you see one new uh, authentication method appear that is called open id connect now it is application configured to authenticate using the active directory open authentication click on open id it will ask for the name see it automatically redirected to the microsoft azure okay and give the name password now if you if you have this a uh, two step authentication enable it may ask for you to approve using any second factor authentication application currently i'm using microsoft authenticator so it may ask but by default what i did i have already selected that this is my uh, default machine which i'm normally using so it is not asking for me this time but when i use this for the first time it asked now if you see that system is asking that uh, this application is not published by microsoft it means it is uh, published by someone else you can see the application other things so give your consent here and the other accept you see that redirected done and you see that i am locked in so this was the simplest simplest way to use authentication active directory authentication in the web form if i log off it will redirect me it will log off from the sorry i have one again let's see it you need to make some changes for your application to like a rename your username and password so let me rerun application once more because currently we have set only logged in and logged out it will not run so let uh, copy this one okay login open id now if you see that it will not ask all those details which it was asking for the last time or the first time okay nothing no and log in now i can log off it will automatically if you see that it automatically closing out all the session it clearing all the session created okay you are sign out and good idea to close all browser so that's all and the simple enough to use microsoft authentication and active data authentication in any asp.net web form Okay, so let let's see one more, some few more.